Hey, it's Chuck here back with Melton Daily Homes, and it's our pre-Halloween edition. And <laughs> hope you liked my episode yesterday. I thought it was uh, it was pretty funny. I don't know. <laughs> I joked in the email. I don't know if the bar was raised or lowered, but it was definitely moved. So, anyways, that's a one-time thing. Don't expect that every day. Uh, two thirty-five Bronte is our first one, number fifty-three. Two thirty-seven nine. It's three bedroom, two washroom. Nice appearance from the front. You got red brick. You got a nice backyard. Uh, be a nice with a bit of color in here too, but the kitchen's been renovated. Um, doesn't show, well, the bathroom here too. So you've got the one full bathroom upstairs. Looks like a bath fitter, very easy to maintain. And they've did, looks like a new vanity there too. So these guys have done all the right things, flooring, a uh, bit of landscaping, and you cannot punch holes in this one at all. So I like it. I like the price and everything about it. It's a good uh, complex too. So definitely check it out. BD Trail is at 389.9. It's a Pottington model, three bedroom, three washroom. And inside, you know, one of the things you got hardwood stairs and sometimes it just doesn't look right with laminate floors. I don't know, to me, the main floor is all about like, it's about appearance, it's about it's bad to say, but it's about impressing friends and family. And I get it that it's functional, like with dogs and with kids and stuff like that. But I just find that you lose the impression like in some ways this can even be not as nice as carpet but uh, anyhow it is what it is here and to put hardwood in is really seven bucks a square foot if you did this entire main floor you'd be talking about maybe I don't know maybe a thousand square feet not back breaking probably about five grand I'd say you know it's probably not a thousand square feet you'd have to finish um, there's the dining room there kitchen you got a backsplash you got some stainless steel appliances they could have probably taken this stuff out but you can still get a sense you've got a breakfast bar here um, nice table you get a little bit of a, a nook here like a bay window and there's the family room. You can't put a TV up here because of the window, but it does let a lot of light in. And this main floor is something that people really like. Anyone who's gone to this home, wow, I love the main floor. And when you go upstairs, the master doesn't have a huge ensuite. It doesn't have a huge closet. That's one part on this model that it's a little bit tight, not to everyone's taste. Nice uh, window seat, though. You've got second floor laundry. There's a shot of the ensuite. And there's the backyard. So it's a standard size lot. And that part of BD is relatively quiet too. It is a bit of a cut through to fourth line. So sometimes you get some cars of whizzing by. But overall, 389 I think is a very, very good price for this home. The one we sold on Clark for 382 uh, I think was probably in a worse location. And this one has a few more upgrades than the one that we sold. And that was about a month ago. So Daimont is at 405 And so I've seen this model from the outside. And I've always found it looks a little bit unbalanced. But it's 1835 square feet. Never been in one personally. Three bedroom, three washroom. Looks like they chose all the right colors in the kitchen. And in the family room, you got a fireplace. And so, yeah, this one is pretty good. It looks like that front room is being used as an office. It could be a dining room. And so from what you can tell, it's got uh, second floor laundry. Looking for, I don't know if that says January 3rd, 2011. Uh, that's a tough time to close. A lot of lawyers are on vacation that time. But, uh, you know, I do like this one. It reminds me a lot of the one on Ware Crescent, which had similar upgrades and actually wasn't even as big. And that was at, it listed at 406 and sold pretty fast. So those guys are going to do well, I think, especially with the kitchen. Houston is at 412 and it's a three bedroom, three washroom. You've got a one and a half car garage, which is nice because really... Some people don't even park their car in their garage because there's so much crap inside of it. So you could put crap on half of the garage and then a car and the rest of it. And when you have kids, you know what happens, the bikes and the everything. So uh, the driveway can fit two cars across, which is excellent. So you don't need to do the switcheroo in the driveway. And Houston's a good street in the Bruce Trail Public School District. Um, I would have taken the water out from here. That looks a little sloppy. Take some stuff off the counters. Nice cabinet colors. You can't go wrong with that sort of mid-tone with the stainless steel. Very, very nice. Eden, you've got a family room here, which looks a little bit small. And I think there's golf clubs in the corner there. And then in the front part, you've actually got the formal dining with a sitting area. There's your front entrance. So that's the L shape that goes around there. And it doesn't really show you much from the bedrooms. you got California shutters here at 412. These guys are going to sell it pretty fast. They did a great job. 
good listing. So Giddings is at 449.8. It's 2,100 square feet, single car garage, and sort of the honey colored floors, which generally the mid to dark are the ones that tend to get noticed a little bit more. Now, one nice thing in the kitchen here is that you've got, normally that's just a flat piece of wood, and they've actually done like the cabinet doors here. And if you see one with that and one without, the one with it is so much better. That's a great thing. I don't know if they made a special request. That is a very clever idea, and it looks excellent in person. So bedrooms look like they're a good size. There's four of them. Looking for a March 15th possession. In my eyes, I don't know. I just don't see the 450 there. I just it's it it doesn't look like it has that kind of value. Now, Tonelli is at 529. In the interest of full disclosure, it is our listing. And I'm the same honesty with the, with mine as any other one. You can look at past videos to uh to to see that. Now, it's a little bit over 2500 square feet. Gorgeous stone and stucco exterior. You're on a great quiet street in the escarpment area, south of Derry in the Matami. Um, you've got four car parking in the driveway. There's two parks that are really close by to this. So it's a nice little street. And so inside, you just turn from the front door and you've got California shutters on all the windows. They spent a lot of money there. And so you've got the front living and it's got this nice high ceiling. I'll show you another shot of that. Uh, neutral wall colors. There it is there. And so this is a sitting area just outside the master and they've got a TV up there too. It's a great little spot. Hardwood stairs, nice neutral uh, tiles. Kitchen, this island can move around. You've got stainless steel appliances. You get a pantry, you get a pot light over the sink and more California shutters. Uh, nice big family room. This is a new version of a model called a Newgate. And it's bigger, and you can see it especially in the family room. It's a big family room. Uh, there's the master there. And you've got three other bedrooms for four. And there's an office that, uh, or a bedroom they converted to an office. Now, this model's a little bit different. Some models you see there's a massive master and then three smaller rooms. This one, you, you're, you don't have the biggest master. It's still a very, very good size. They've got a king size bed, it fits great. Um, but uh, but it's just not that grandiose, huge room. And so the rooms are nice and balanced. You could have teenage kids in all three of the other bedrooms. And it's a very good layout. And we've had good activity so far. We've had three showings booked in the first uh, 48 hours. So that's that's definitely a good thing. I think it has a lot of value at 529. And there you go. That's the list for today. If you have any questions, as always, you can give us a call. And I'm going to go eat some chocolate, and get ready for Halloween. So have a super weekend, and we'll see you back here on Monday. Okay, bye for now.